Walk us through a gap you see between AI policies on paper versus what's actually happening in organizations. Yeah, just like any policy, it oftentimes is comprehensive, but doesn't map to the business objectives or the speed of the business or even the risk tolerance. I think it's important for any policy to be reevaluated for these factors. But some of the pitfalls that I, I've seen, particularly with the AI wave, is the speed versus security trade-off. Right now, every organization has AI as a priority. Everybody's uh, racing to select tools and models and build bots across their ecosystems at a pace that security may not be able to keep up with. So, you know, doing comprehensive security reviews and things that we rely on, in some cases, they bypass or, you know, we have to take shortcuts. The other thing is just li li limited visibility and control, not knowing what is out there for the models that are being used or the tools. So I think comprehensive asset uh, around the AI um, usage is important. And then I, I would say finally, you know, really around just the talent challenges we have. We can apply a lot of security fundamental practices to AI, but uh, there are unique facets to it that I think are posing a bit of challenge for many organizations. The last thing I would say in all this is it's fairly similar to the SaaS and cloud adoption. I'm hoping that we've learned from those pitfalls. Obviously, the inertia is moving a lot uh, faster with this, but we've seen this uh, playbook before, and, and I think uh, many of us are, are trying to apply those lessons learned.